Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Good afternoon. This is case IT 9937I, the prosecutor of the tribunal against Sobodan Milosevic, Milan Milotinovic, Mikola Shanovic, Dra Drago Yub Odanovic, Vlaiko Stoilovic. Thank you. May I have the appearances? Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution is represented by myself, Prosecutor Carla del Ponte, uh, with uh, trial attorney Milbert Chin and case manager Rebecca Graham. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Madam Prosecutor. Well, for the defense. Your Honor, my name is Doma Fila, an attorney from Belgrade, and together with Mr. Zoran Jovanovic, also a lawyer from Belgrade, I represent the defense of Mr. Nikola Shainovic. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fila. Mr. Sainovic, can you hear the proceedings in a language you can understand? Yes, Your Honor, I can follow it in the language I understand. Then may I have your full name and date of birth? Yes, I'm Nikola Shainovic. My name is Nikola Shainovic, born on the 7th December 1948. Thank you. You may sit again. Before we go on, I, I have to say sorry, all of the people here and those assisting us behind doors to have a hearing at this late hour of the day. However, this was the only available time we could find due to the heavy schedule of trials which are going on at this moment. This is an initial appearance to be conducted in accordance with Rule 62 of the Rules of Procedure and Evidence of this Tribunal. The purpose of this hearing is firstly for the court to be satisfied that the accused understands the indictment and secondly for the accused to enter a plea to the indictment. In regard to the first question, Mr. Fila, may I take it that your client has received a copy of the indictment in a language that he can understand and that you have had the opportunity of going through the indictment with him. Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Does your client wish to have the indictment read out in full in the courtroom or is he prepared to waive that right? My client is ready to waive the right to the reading of the indictment. He is well acquainted with it and there is no need for the reading. Thank you. Then we'll have the entry of a plea of the accused. The accused may enter a plea within 30 days of the initial appearance, but he may enter a plea today if he so wishes. Mr. Fila, what is your client's intention? Does he wish to enter a plea today or do it later? Your Honor, my client will plead today. Thank you. Mr. Sainovic, will you please stand again? Have you heard what your counsel has said? Uh, has the indictment been explained to you? Yes, I have studied the indictment carefully. Yes, very well. Now I will read to you the counts in the second in amended indictment. You will then enter a plea to each count. Please confine your answers to either guilty or not guilty. Do you understand that? As always. I understand. Yes, count one of the indictment charges you with deportation a crime against humanity punishable under Article 5D of the Statute of the Tribunal. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? I plead not guilty, Your Honor. Count 2 charges you with other inhumane acts, i.e. forcible transfer, a crime against humanity 
punishable under Article 5I of the Statute of the Tribunal. How do you plead to that? He's Not guilty. And count three and four relate to the alleged killing of the Kosovo Albanian civilians between the 1st of January and the 20th of June in 1999. Then the amount, then count three charges you with murder, a crime against humanity, punishable under Article 5A of the Statute of the Tribunal. How do you plead? Your Honor, I plead not guilty. And count four charges you with murder, a violation of the laws or customs of war, punishable under Article 3 of the Statute of the Tribunal, and recognized by Article 3 1A of the Geneva Convention. How do you plead? Not guilty. And finally, count five charges you with persecutions on political, racial, and religious grounds, a crime against humanity, punishable under Article 5H of the statute. How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? I plead not guilty, Your Honor. Thank you. This com completes the pleas. Now you may sit again. Well, there are a couple of miscellaneous matters I have to deal with at this moment. First, I would like to remind Madame Prosecutor of her duty under Rule 66A1 to make available to the defense in the language that he, the accused understands and within 30 days from now, all the supporting materials that accompanied the indictment and all prior statements obtained from the accused. Of course, I take that the, that obligation will be discharged, but do you have any comments on that, madam? Yes, Your Honor, just to inform. Um, we will be disclosing the material both in English and BCS, the language of the accused. The total quantity of the material in English and BCS will be 14 binders in total. Uh, for all but one of the binders, we have all material read in English and BCS, but in relation to this binder, there are 48 pages still in the process of translation in uh, BCS. We will endeavor to have the translations completed on this binder, also ready for disclosure by Friday, 17 May. However, before we disclose the materials, we will be filing a motion for non-disclosure of the material to the public. We will also be filing a motion to extend the protective measures applied to the Milosevic case to certain witnesses to this case and will await a response to that motion before we can disclose, disclose such materials. In the Milosevic case, we sought and obtained a permission from the Chamber to use pseudonyms and not to disclose the statements of certain witnesses until 30 days uh, before they testify for the amici and 10 days before uh, for the accused. So, presuming we are ready to start disclosure as soon as possible, uh, by Monday 6 May with regards to material not the, uh, not the subject of the motion to extend protective measures because we wait of the, of the decision. Thank you, Your Honor. Very well. Thank you, Madam. We will wait for the motion from you. And the second question will be the next hearing, a status conference. I note that the status conference for the co-accused, Mr. Oidanich, has been scheduled to take place on Friday, the 21st of June, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll have a joint hearing for the purpose of status conference. 
Well, this concludes today's hearing. And are there, I wonder if there is anything that parties wish to raise at this moment for the prosecution. No. <coughs> yes, Your Honor, just one thing. I have carefully listened to what Madam Prosecutor had to say. In uh, the Milosevic case, there are Amici Curia. Here, there are none. So this 10 days deadline uh, is not acceptable to me. 30 days, however, would be acceptable. Thank you very much. The trial chamber will consider it in due course. Thank you. Then, there having been no other things to be dealt with, this hearing is adjourned.